Hello everybody, my name is Breed and uh, following on from a Crimu Minogue uh, workshop um, I'm doing a short video for those who couldn't make it and it's all about uh, um, collage hands. Uh, so it's uh, looking at different things that you can maybe make or do with your hands. Um, we got our hands talking as well with a little bit of love um and also um we cut out uh, lots of different uh, shapes and um images things from things with that we were finished uh, reading old magazines um newspapers um uh, i used a farmer's journal for some of mine and somebody else in the workshop did as well um so because if you like doing things with animals and things like that so you could find them there so whatever you have in your house um, and it could be images of things that just uh, different colors that you like um, I have a collage here and in it um, I have lots of things that I like to uh, do um, I even have a cup for a cup of tea I have some words and letters and some hidden messages and things in there as well um, and what I love about collage is that even if you everybody had the same magazines um, it everybody's would be very different um, because it's the uh, arts putting things uh, together um, that's kind of a, a really um, w where the creativity comes in so um, then I what I did is I put the all the pictures um, cut up um, I did a full board and then I uh, did a cutout of my hand and put it on. But you um, could also get your cardboard. Now this is just an old uh, cereal box. Place your hand down and draw around it. So here I am just got a coloured pencil. You can use anything at all. I'm drawing around my hand. You could hold your hand down and somebody else could draw around it either or you could draw around somebody else's hand you could try and draw around the other as well lots of oh not as easy to draw with my left hand because i am right-handed 90 percent of the population is right-handed so um, so the left-handed is rare enough. So here I'm just going to start cutting out uh, bits from this is just a magazine, and I see some rainbow things here. Oh, there's a few rainbows here. Um, you could also just tear. And there's more. I think this collage is maybe could be rainbow or color orientated. Um, even here behind on this page, I have just a nice green wall. So I'm just gonna cut out. Some of that so it doesn't have to be images it can be just um, some nice colors um, and also here I have some textured paper so I could cut or tear some bits of that start gluing them down in a minute. I have um, I think this is like a beehive because I like bees and I like to sew some flowers um, for the bees as well. So in my other collage I have lots of lots of flowers um, and things so I'll find some flowers as well in 
my magazine to cut out uh, whatever magazine you have with them. So start um, sticking them down then, uh, wherever you like. You can cut, stick them all outside the hands or in the hands or both. Um, and everybody's collage is going to be completely different. Um, this is my previous one. And um, as you can see, it's, um, it has lots of things that I love to do with my hands. It even has some images I found in papers and things of hands and fingers and as well and there's a scissors and there's um, little bits of leaves I put in as well because I like leaves some flowers because I like to sew flowers and pick flowers and um, bits of paint and then just not some light colors um, and there's some animals in there so sheep and birds and things there that my hands let me do there is some letters there as well so basically it's just going through magazines or papers whatever you have uh, find images of things you love to do with your hands and all the things your hands allow you to do um, and even colors and just uh, it's a collection of all these things and maybe a print of your hand there as well so I hope you get making some uh, pictures, some collage pictures, uh, all about your hands and some wonderful things our hands let us do. And also, if you send them in, um, we can include them in the online exhibition, the Crinunanog exhibition. So it would be wonderful to have your entries um, sent in and you can include them there. Send them to Lisa at Wexford Arts Centre and it's ARTS center um i'll put it up on the screen there and yeah send them in and we'll have them as part of the exhibition <laughs>